Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be filming the third day, yes, of, what is it? One brand, one week, which is like Heart Revolution week. So, yes, I'm on the third day. If I seem a little bit frazzled, it's because I have finished work, I've just got home, I'm literally been running around like a headless chicken. So, let's just pass that. So, we're going to be playing with the I had Revolution Princess and the Frog palette today. I'm excited. Um, like always, I'll be linking any videos I've done with any of the palettes up in the cards and the previous videos as well. I'll be linking them up in the cards, also in a playlist at the end of this video in case you want to go and check any of the other ones out. But yeah, day three, Princess and the Frog. Let's jump into it. Starting off, I'm just priming my lids. I don't really show you guys this usually. Usually I just go straight into the eyeshadow but yeah i'm priming my lids today love it love it so yeah um when i first filmed this palette i used the greens and the purples i still want to use the purples today i think he purples that's what i'm feeling i got a purple jumper on so yeah it only seems Fitting, um, but yeah, now that my lids are primed, I use the Beauty Bay Eye Base in shade number two. By the way, just in case you guys are interested, jumping into the palette, mm. Witch Doctor. I think I kind of want to use a bit of Witch Doctor. Are we going with it? Let's go in with Witch Doctor. We're here. Let's do it. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a bit of witch doctor right now. Let's just, you know, yeah. I can't lie, this is one of my favourite Disney films. Like, when I was really thinking about it, I was like, this is one of my absolute faves. I just love it. It's such a good film. In that on for a deep purple that actually packs on so well some deep purple shades just you know they quite can be quite patchy but this no i don't see no patchiness here actually we really want to watch this film now Who is your favourite Disney princess? Mine is Rapunzel. I really wish, I really hope that they will create a Rapunzel palette because she's my favourite Disney princess. Is that just because she's got long hair like me? Maybe, but yeah. I, I don't, I, you know what, then we're going to take, I'm going to take the shade Beignet, which is this one here. The, these palettes are so reflective, they're so reflective. I'm going to take that shade Beignet, and I'm going to start to blend around that Witch Doctor shade. Never had a beignet. Does anyone know what it is exactly? In the film, it looks like some sort of like pastry, sugary pastry thing. Is that what it is? If you know, please let me know because I'm actually quite intrigued to know. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Mama Odie, which is this mustardy yellow shade here. Really pretty. Mama Odie. I'm just going to start to blend around the edges. Okay. 
we're getting there slowly we're getting there i'm quite happy with them three shades what i'm going to do is i'm gonna go ahead just build these shades up one more time fill them up blend them out cut my crease and then we'll be back and we're gonna do a lip shade so yeah i'll be right back Okay, so I'm back. I've quickly just cut my crease. I've just used the P. Louise X Mermichal Blank Canvas Base. If you ever want to know what I use to cut my crease, it is this. Um, I sometimes forget to put it in the caption down below of what I've used. Cause I literally just, I just forget. I literally just forget. So, yeah, I really don't know what to shade to use on the lid. Oh, that could be cute. What about this shade? Mm, maybe not that shade. I don't really know what to use, there's magic. I'm thinking magic mixed with this. What do you guys think? Hmm. Was it Evangeline? That's a pretty shade, isn't it? Maybe you use Evangeline, them two shades. Oh, that is a shade Ray. That's gorgeous, that isn't it? Mm. That's kind of cool in me, I can't lie. I might use that shade. Um, I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna put it on. We'll see, we'll see what kind of happens. So this is the shade Ray up here. This one here is such a pretty shade. I'm gonna go over that first. Um, you know, we'll just we'll just kind of see what happens. Oh, what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna pop this shade on, and then go in with that lighter yellow, like goldy shade on the inner portion. If that kind of makes sense. Then we're going with the shade Evangeline, this one here. I'm actually just using the same brush, guys, in case you're interested, but yeah. Um, a little bit of that on. You know what, that's actually quite nice. Then I'm just gonna go back into Ray a little bit, pop some more on. It's an unlikely colour story that still works. Then I'm just gonna go back into the purple shade. Um, Witch Doctor. And put some more in the outer corner. Still a lip. Mm. That's actually really pretty. I really like that. I really do. I wasn't expecting to like it this much, but I do. It's nice. Um, but in the corner, I'm going to go in with this shade. This is a highlighter. And as she does that, she's that one there. Is that an actual word? I'm intrigued to know. So I'm going to go in with that shade just on the inner corner. As she does that. If you've watched the film, you'll get why I'm saying it like that. If you haven't, go watch it. It's a really good film. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to take that shade that we had the yellow one. Just blend around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I am digging this. Cute. What do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and just do this off camera and my base, my lashes, everything. I am going to use the blushes and of course one of the highlighters as well on my face and then I'll be back and we're gonna wrap this up so I'll be right back okay guys so I am back this is the finished look what do you guys mm. think <laughs> let me know sorry that is my phone um so yeah uh, on the lower lash line I basically just used Naveen and Gumbo just these two shades. Um, and then I did use, oh, put my full finger in there. I used the shade almost there as a blush and she tans that as a highlight. Um, if you've seen my first video, you know that you'd have seen that 
as she tans there, you can actually get away with it if you're like on my kind of skin tone um, as a highlighter. So if you were worried about that, you can make it work. And you can also use the blushes as well. Just be like really light handed, handed with them. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I also did use the Prince and the Frog lip topper on top of a liquid lipstick. Um, of course, I will be linking everything else that I'm wearing as well on my face in the description box down below. But what do you guys think? I'm kind of living. Kind of living for it. Um, she cute. She cute. What do you guys think? Please let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll be using, I think it's the Little Mermaid palette. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is the third look. Again, I'll be linking the first two videos up in the description box. Up in the description box? Up in the cards. And um, also the end of this video as well. I will say that I'll put it in the description box. However, I'll probably forget. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I will be putting all of the palettes that you can purchase from each video in the description box. They are... Well, the links are like based off commissions if you do click on the link and purchase it would mean the world to me however I don't feel pressured into doing it um but yeah I actually really like this look I think it's cute I'm excited to play with the little memo palette tomorrow I have actually played with that palette a couple of times now whereas like with these first ones I want to use them once maybe twice but with the little mermaid I've definitely used that twice so yeah I'm excited um so yeah Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll be playing with that palette. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!